Hey, hello friend, and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. I'm here with the new DLC, which is the Barbarossa DLC. This is currently in, well, let's just call it early access or beta or a press release version. So there are still a couple of uh, changes to be made. For example, it says Barbarossa in 1941 here. I'm quite sure that when it gets released, it will uh, start with uh, June 22nd, 1941 or, or something similar. I don't think this 1941 will stay there. But um, yeah, just uh, as a quick reminder, this is a beta slash press release version. So this is not the final version and there might still be some changes that will be present in your game compared to my game as I will not be switching to the main copy um, or the um, released version of the game uh, mid LP so if I'm already halfway through I'm, I'm not gonna restart again just because they released the uh, the, the actual version uh, with added benefits I, I'll see how much uh, of those will be implemented here as well uh, come release date as of release date i i'm actually not sure when it releases i do believe that i heard somewhere it's uh, somewhere in april uh, so you should be watching out for that keep the keep tabs on the uh, unity of command website where they have a blog where they post that stuff they might have already posted the release date things like that follow it on steam uh, just to get that information i'll just be playing here as usual with barbarossa a clash of titans the third reich and the red bear are at war a conflict both view as inevitable but for which neither is ready the soviet army is woefully unprepared for the pace of modern warfare and still recovering from the disastrous purge of its best officers. Germany has operational dominance, but critically underestimates the vastness of Russia, the severity of her winters, and the tenacity of her people. We'll be playing on Classic, and uh, yeah, I was already taking a look at it. Um, I tried participating in the beta, but I found that I just had absolutely no time to be playing this whatsoever. I just could not find the time to, to be doing this. So, um, Anyway, we have our conference and we immediately see a new command card. Um, this is this costs 40. We can set for 20. Refill the command points for an in-supply HQ. Can be used even if the HQ has moved in this turn. That seems pretty good. But at the start of the game, I generally want to keep my prestige not for cards, but for uh, upgrading my um, HQs and for upgrading my units. We have three missions so the, until the next conference, so I might actually not even upgrade these at all and just try to hoard more prestige um, and on the units. But I I'm sure keeping it in mind, I actually do think this mobile command, um, I actually think it, it's, it's quite useful. It seems pretty good. If you were to ask me, uh, this is definitely not a dead card. At any rate, let's uh, take a look at these first. So the HQ movement is fixed, but for Army Group North, they already have 10. Um, they also do have Feint Attack and Suppressive Fire. So I'm not really looking to oversupply these guys either. If we're going to look at um, Panzergruppe 4 under Hübner... Um, I can actually read this. We haven't. I, I haven't read this before. Um, they are new texts because we are playing a new DLC. Getting up Wilhelm Ritter von Lieb will command the northern prong of Barbarossa, which aims to liberate the Baltic states and seize Leningrad. It is at risk of being overextended as the campaign drags on. Von Lieb himself is not among the most dynamic commanders, yet will lead with competence until losing his command after the Battle of Moscow. Um, no upgrades, for now at least. Panzer Group 4, under Erik Hübner. Uh, General Erik Hübner will lead Panzer Group 4 in a lightning fast drive to isolate Leningrad, after which it will shift south to the attack on Moscow. Hübner is trusted by his subordinates and highly effective on the battlefield. 
He is destined to lose his command after the Battle of Moscow and will later be executed for his part in the 1944 plot against Hitler. I am quite sure I want to have at least the truck assets to 8. This is a movement upgrade and not HQ range upgrade. If you'll note, for the Army Group Nord, which um, is a Heeresgruppe, um, using the truck assets increases the range, but not the movement. But for a, for a Panzergruppe, we're increasing the movement, but not the range. So it's turned around there. Either way, I'm going to keep tabs. I do like this and I do like this, but I'm going to wait on it a bit to see what these other units have. Heeresgruppe Mitte is the largest of the German army groups attacking the Soviet Union, and it will face the most daunting challenges. In command is General Fedor von Bock, an opinionated and forceful leader who clashes often with superiors and subordinates. He will fly over Moscow and view it through field glasses, but will not conquer it. He is fated to lose his life in an air attack during the final week of the war. Um, seems like they are also doing fine for now, no upgrades. I do like creating pontoon bridges. But that just seems to be out of reach, at least for the immediate future. Panzergruppe 2 under Heinz Guderian. Panzergruppe 2 is commanded by General Heinz Guderian. It forms the northern, uh, southern prong. Wow. Southern prong of Army Group Center's advance with the detour south in September to encircle Kiev. Guderian's writings will ensure his reputation as the foremost architect of Blitzkrieg, though some suggest he is a more skilled author than general. Following the field attack in Moscow, Guderian will be leaved of command for some two years. Uh, once again, I'll at the very least go for this, but I'm still looking to also get the oversupply and potential truck as the temper. That is 50 points, and that's quite a lot at the start of the game. Panzergruppe 3 under Hermann Hoth. Panzergruppe 3's task is to leapfrog along the main line, rail line to Moscow Thru, uh, through Minsk, Smolensk and Vyazma, facing some of the toughest Soviet armies along the way. It will be led initially by General Hermann Hoth, an aggressive tank commander who is unusually fluent in Russian. Later, General uh, Georg Hans Reinhardt will take command for the ill-fated final attack on Moscow. At least doing that. Here's Gruppe Sud under Gerd von Rundstedt. Also, I will not do any upgrades. General Gerd von Rundstedt will take charge of Here's Gruppe Sud, a multinational force that will ultimately include Romanian, Hungarian, Italian, and Slovakian forces. Its goal is to conquer the Ukraine and open the way for an advance on the oil fields of the Caucasus. Von Rundstedt epitomizes the Prussian military tradition, dedicated and superbly effective, but also acquiescent to war crimes and genocide. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Last one is Panzergruppe Ein. It's Eins? I wonder if it's Ein or Eins. Um, Ewald von Kleist is its commander here. From southern Poland, through the Great Bend of the Dnieper, Kiev, and finally through the Donbass to Rostov, Panzergruppe Eins will have 50% more ground to cover than the other Panzer armies. On his odyssey, it will be commanded by General Ewald von Kleist, a Prussian general with nearly flawless operational judgment. Right, so with all these upgrades to five in or to eight in movement, I could spend 200 prestige in order to get all of these guys up to 10 movement and the oversupply unit. But in all fairness, I actually think I would benefit more from only getting the oversupply during this first um, bout, so to say, or this, this first conference, and um, just use this to, up, to beef up my units to get the victories that I need, than to spend it on additional trucks, which granted is pretty good, but you know, might not be as necessary as, for example, say, tough panzers. Um, we have a new text here, so let's read it. Despite delays caused by our Balkan operations, okay, 
H has ordered the invasion of Russia to go ahead in 1941. You will take the Red Army by surprise and you must not let it regain its balance for an instant. Stalin's armed forces are large but incompetent as their war against Finland proved. Strike hard and the campaign can surely be finished by September. Let's get started. And I will actually start with uh, Hiroskupa Nord. Uh, June 22, 1941. Although the smallest of the three German army groups, North, still faces a daunting set of objectives. First on its list is to destroy the Soviet Northwestern Front while racing to cross the Daugava Tvina, River. The aforementioned Soviet Front is in competent hands, but spread thin and with little in the way of immediate reserves. Taking these objectives will improve your starting situation in future scenarios. That's the Daugav Pils crossing. Um, there's actually no vision on which other missions we'll get after this. Although I would imagine that the next mission will be Pskov and potentially an Estonia scenario. Either of those is very likely probably both at some point well we'll go for Pskov first and then probably they will have a, a Luga uh, Estonia uh, split off which I mean that would be a traditional way to do it I think the divisions of Army Group North await your orders your general objective is to annihilate the Soviet Northwestern Front it is equally crucial that your forces reach and cross the Daugava River before the Soviets can mobilize reserves and block such a crossing. Turn 4 to 5. You can expect smaller local counterattacks and a few air attacks, but these will doubtless prove to be mere nu nuisances. Do not hesitate, do not hold back. The Red Army must be dealt a swift and deadly blow. And here we already have it. I actually need to buy more German armor steps, which uh, actually the costs for a lot of these are a lot higher uh, than they used to be. Well, not pioneers, but tanks used to be cheaper. Recon used to be cheaper. Recon used to be 20. Panzer Kampfwagen 2, or the tanks, I, I thought it was 30. And um, artillery also used to be, I think it was 20 or 25. What's the difference? Lower defense, more artillery power. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's start with these armor steps, which kind of sucks, but uh, that'll be important. We're down to 60. Mm, so, let's take this. This is still Panzergruppe four um do i want to put it on you guys or here probably on you there we go you're part of arm higgis group nord now oh, certainly i'll take this artillery put on you um In this case, I'm going to try and plow through in the center here. I'll discuss my strategy in a little bit, but that, that's basically what I'm going to start out with regardless. Um, these guys will be here for three more turns. Three, 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 three. Okay, that's important. Um, well, hardly any of my units... I mean, I actually think how useful it would be to push them away. Probably a lot, since if I want to get to Liepaya, I kind of need to beat these. Otherwise, they will immediately go and uh, take me down. You cannot get another artillery. Then why would I take it from you? You're part of 4th Panzer Group? Ah, okay. 
Um, well, in that case... I want to give the un uh, a unit the Stuk 3B that will probably operate in this area. Uh, and not up here. That, that does not seem fruitful. At all. How much does a motor a mechanized step cost? 20. Question is, do I really want to spend my points on that? Hmm. No way to repair a bridge. Or at least not in a useful manner. Why would I buy these? I guess for some of these units. Technically, or at least the game claims I have a total of four to buy. Which is weird because I don't see for four on the map. Uh, but I guess it's there, maybe. Um, with 60, what could I possibly buy that would be very useful? I could buy one more Stug. <laughs> no, let's actually keep it on you. Twenty would suggest that I have forty left. And that definitely means that it's not going to be as useful anymore. I could also buy a recon for them, which also would not be that bad. And then do this. All right. Fourth Panzer Group. Let's build. They have six out of seven. If I want these guys to be able to move properly, um, how much does it save me? One, two, three. I actually save quite a bit. As for supplies, I don't need this one. I'll be moving along the rail line mostly there anyway. This one I do need, so I'll keep this for the moment. And see if I can relocate in a, a little bit. Currently, you and you can both move. Soviets will get reinforcements. Let's take a look. Probably around here. So I need to get the crossing on turn four. We'll also have uh, the Daugava River on turn four. Riga turn six, apparently. Out of seven. Okay. Lega Pils crossing four and hold. Countess turn three. Lipaya turn five. And the Yiga Pils crossing turn five as well. All right. Let's get started. Artillery shift camped at six. Hmm, so I didn't get the retreat and I didn't get the overrun, huh? That's fine. Uh, I think all my units are veteran already. Yeah, except for you. One, two, three. Um, the thing is, I actually want these guys to move as far as possible. Same for them. Although they can apparently already move up till here. They... I, I guess I need them right next to Kaunas on the next turn. That That's just... Basically it. Um... 
Oh, why not? For the rest of the units, it matters a bit less. Okay. Mm. I do have those security divisions. Let's see how far they can get. Uh, I, I don't think it would be that big of an issue here if I just put them in here. So you can advance. If we're looking at uh, supplies, the enemy gets their supplies from here. This hex, they also have a truck here. A flying artillery that uh, just deals a lot of uh, damage in one go, but doesn't destroy any of their supplies. Comes from here, here and there. So I kind of need to cut that rail line and they're already having a lot of trouble through this side. This supply comes through there, clearly, so. You're part of Army Group North. I could try to just pin it. That's, I guess, the best thing I can do with them for now doesn't ultimately help me in, in damaging it uh, but this is one two three they actually might be able to move further and that's kind of Mm. Yeah, I cannot take it back. I should have moved the other unit, this unit here, and then those guys a bit further. Mm. I need to make sure that those units that can go further will. Hmm. I also need to cut off this rail line and I could either go here or here but seeing as I need to get there I might be better off doing this I already have that hex now so there's not necessarily a need to move forward again um, if we look at their supplies this one is out of supply at least um, but they still get supplies through this apparently and that's going fine so these guys are not cut off Yeah, there is a, there's no way I'm gonna not do that. Um, out of range. This road. Hmm. 
might actually be pretty critical in determining where I'm going to place these. Now, I can probably cut these guys off, but I cannot cut off this rail line yet, uh, I would wager. Now, with this somewhat destroyed... With those tanks, I'm actually a little bit afraid to move the motorized unit, this motorized unit without any backup. But I also want to at least make ma near maximum use out of its movement. It would be a pity to put it there. How are they on supplies on this side now? They still get it? I threw there, huh? Fair enough. Fair enough. Are the supplies up there? Not good. So, even here, yeah, it will be somewhat of a problem. Um. What I can do though, well, I think what I need to do for now, so that these guys don't go in here and cut me off, is at the very least... Okay, this is better. Now, all of these three are cut off. I think they'll be very beneficial, and these two are also cut off. Um, so you go in here do I still have a next unit you uh, not too useful I'm not getting any reinforcements. Okay, fair enough. Also not not too bad actually. So, I'm not going to attack that at the moment. Huh. Well, I want to have these guys at the very least over here. And... You cannot put that attack on them. Alright, that's okay. Doesn't need to, to happen right now, anyway. That's a bit frustrating, actually. Well, I'm sure you cannot move a whole lot further. But doing this... 
Um, at least this cuts off most of their forces, or at least makes it so that they, they don't get any supplies in most of their areas. Um, so that is very beneficial. I don't need to take Xiao Liai at this moment, but somewhere in the future would be nice. Hmm. That already takes away all of the movements. I have three at three, it's actually quite bad. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. This one is not such a problem though, but um Yeah, that that's fine. They're already out of supplies for one turn. So starting from the next, they'll be out of supplies for two turns. What I would be best off doing then... Finishing them off. And... Hmm. You're already out of range. Did I not move with Panzer Group 4? Hmm. I guess at that stage, I, I might also just as well do that. Although these attacks are still quite poor. They will not be getting supplies. It's just no good there. Well, most of these units will not be useful anymore uh, after attacking Kaunas anyway. Uh, so that's not, not really the main issue here. Because if these tanks actually might attack here, I would... But at this point, there's not a lot I can do there. Either way. Um... 
what I, actually I should be doing. You still have that. No, none of those useful. Okay. So, for, at the very least, I need them to move. No need to work it up or one thing I can do is to actually start working with these but uh, They're very likely to go and try to cut me off. We'll see how that works. Um, this was a bit of a mistake, actually. At least they stayed put. These guys need to go through some means. Uh, let's just start with this. Ah, you can go in there, sure. Okay. I'll see whether I need that, but uh, that, that's good. So, of course. I'm uh, fairly surprised actually that they still, oh, well, they're only cut off for one turn. Either way, I need to get this railroad up and running basically. That's going to be the most critical part. Just trying to reconnect. They would be cut off for two turns on the next turn, uh, at the very least. Still no good sh opportunities for most of those other ones. One, one. I'm also not. Hmm. I'm actually surprised they're only cut off for one turn so far.
ultimately no that's no good yet uh, how are the supplies through there decent They couldn't really do a whole lot more than that, so. That's still pretty reasonable, though. Let's move the HQ forward. I'll have the security divisions deal with it. Super unit, am I going to attack? Well, I actually don't think so. Just as these will be cut off for two turns. And I guess we got the river. We also need to take Riga. Um, I guess with both of these going to these crossings. Mm, I'm actually more or less looking to beat this unit. These are not a problem after this, I think. So. Okay. They wouldn't have the points to supply them now anyway. And this is also not a good attack. I have five. They would still only do two. I need to rebuild this rail line on the next turn at the very least. Mm. So that these guys will be in supply again. Also interesting that they have armor there, but that armor is probably not gonna do a whole lot. Neither in here though. This this is not, not amazing. We cut off for two turns, but it doesn't actually help me. Whereas these guys will be cut off for three turns. Okay, so retreat would be 30%, but it doesn't actually help me to cut them off. But I, I do think that with this, it will be easier to, to deal with it. Cutting them off from the HQ now is probably still the best choice. It also allows me to move on with these, or at least uh, some of these units, because 
I don't need them to deal with these guys anymore. At least not this turn. I have plenty of turns to ultimately deal with them, but I want to get at least... Uh, Three next turn will be turn four. They cut off for two turns. Do it like this. They, they can't really do anything there anyway. Let's take that. I still need to take this here hex as well and protect it. Uh, I would be in very serious danger if they were to be able to cut me off or anything of the sort. Interesting that this actually takes one more turn to be available. Not really sure what that's based on. However, I do have this railroad going up now. Tank is the most immediate problem or concern. And let's uh, let's move in here now. Currently, I can build this up two hexes from there. The most important thing there, though, is that now. Besides doing this, I can move these up here. And I need to regain logistics and operations on this side. Although, uh, it might be a bit tricky. Now, okay, that, that's good. Thing is that river crossing and repair bridge are both not good. So that would mean, unfortunately, I have to spend the points on prestige or the most points for the extra command points. Now, the enemy is going to get all of that on any of those turns. Uh, but I think I could take all of it. So they will not get any reinforcements. It seems like. Neither on this turn, neither for you, and for you. Okay.
I'll have to see what I'm going to do with them. But it does also mean that now the supplies are running through here. And quite frankly, I think now is the time also to clear these enemies out. Since I need to take that on the next turn anyway. Sweet, okay. How are they on supplies there? Not too great. One, two, three. But if I can actually get the supplies, if they don't, don't move through, do we have a supply for three turns? This is a... Yeah, it's just Soviet tank. Just regular. Need these guys to move to Riga, though, as it is. Hmm... Kind of need to keep hitting that northwestern uh, HQ, too. That, that doesn't help. Um, next turn. Moving. Trying to also get the experience with uh, units that will yeah, stay here for a while. In this case, these guys got damaged. They need reinforcements. So I, I want to attack with you. I don't think they'll be able to move a whole lot. Um, how are we here on the supplies and such? Our supply here. Okay, that's that's not too bad. What is really weird though is that they Ah, oh, come on, man.
You get those now. You're going down there. This way they can get up to veteran. Quite useful if you ask me. Did they not get any supplies? They must have been unlucky. But I'll get them. go those guys got killed and we also have this uh, supply or this this rail moving through there now mm. I think you guys can even attack much better than doing nothing there we go. This will allow me to grab this center area on the next turn. And fourth panzer group is, is kind of back in action. So what I need from you at least is to get resupplied. And since they cannot deploy any of these forces, I might as well move you up. I need to take Riga on the next turn. And how far can you go? So what I can do This is kind of like the absolute max they can work with. Maybe it's for the, the better to, to move in that direction now. I mean, I will attack. Kind of necessary. But uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll get them. So let's make sure the rest of our units is safe and secure. Uh, yeah. Okay. You guys taken care of. You guys taken care of. This is taken care of. You can no longer attack, but the supplies should be flowing through there without question now. Should be good. Yes, we are. Oof. This is fine. Um, All right. Take this, move in here, take this. We're uh, basically just mopping up right now. I don't think there are any more stragglers either.
I only have this 11th RD. I gotta attack it, but that's not really useful. Either way. Um, I have one more turn here. Continue the scenario. They might have some other stragglers that I'm still capable of grabbing. Exceptionally unlikely, I know. Ah, oh, they have a unit in there. Really? Huh. It would have been interesting if I would have been able to kill that, but I guess not. Oh well. No, indeed. Like I already said, it, it was very unlikely. Uh, but there we have it. That's the first mission successfully completed. A pretty decent start to the operation. With all primary objectives taken on time and the first campaign milestone, the world holds its breath. We got one loss. <laughs> uh, score of 338. All right, nice. That will wrap things up for the first episode. A, a quite a long one, but uh, yeah, that's just what happens with all the talk and things like that. We'll uh, continue in the next episode with probably Higgaskupa Mita. We'll see, though. Might actually try to do Higgaskupa suit first. Um, since I did participate in the beta and I played Higgaskupa Nord, South, and Center for... Uh, Basically, those three are the missions that I've played once before on Classic. Um, and I, I did find Center to be the toughest. So I might go for South first to try and acquire as much prestige as possible to make them as strong as possible. Um, either way, I want to thank you all for watching for now. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, see you then, and bye-bye.